Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. Welcome to Get Your Sax Together. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get much more out of practicing your scales on sax. Now, of course, we're all told you must practice your scales, and that is absolutely true because it's the building block of all music. And also, it really helps drill your fingers and get your technique dialed in. However, what most people do is just practice from the root to the next root and then back down again. And I'm going to show you in this video how you can get so much more out of practicing your scales. If you're enjoying the content and the channel, please do subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. That's going to help me get more subscribers and really help me build the channel and give you more and more better content. Also, check out the Instagram. And in the description, there is a free PDF and I've written out all the major scales in the technique that I'm going to teach you now. That's a wonderful resource. So go down there, click the link in the description and let's get on with the lesson. Now I've realised <laughs> I'm getting a bit alto or tenorist, if that's a thing. So today, because it doesn't matter which sax I demonstrate on, I thought I'd demonstrate on soprano. For all you soprano players out there, I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> so. This method of practicing scales is very simple. All we do is we start on the root. We ascend the scale to the highest note that you can play on your instrument at your current ability. We come back down, you go past the root again, down to the lowest note that you can play in your ability, and then back to the root. It's as simple as that. But we are then covering the whole range of the sax and getting so much more out of our practice. Now the beauty of this system is if you only know how to play up to a palm key D then that's fine. Practice your scales up to a D or a C sharp depending on the scale and if you only know how to go down to a low C that's fine make that your lowest note. But for most people the range of the instrument will go from a low B flat to a high F. So that is what I'm going to demonstrate for this video and that is what is going to be on the free PDF that you can go and get down in the description. Go and click the link to get that where I've written out all the scales for you to save you a lot of bother. Let's take, for example, E flat major. Now E flat major is a major scale with three flats. So we're going to start on E flat and we're going to go right up E flat major scale to the highest note we can on the instrument, which is an F, a top F. We then turn around, we come all the way down, we go past the E flat to the lowest note, which is a low B flat, and then we come back to E flat. So a very simple formula, start on the root, go as high as you can, turn around, come down as low as you can, and then return to the root. So here it is. <laughs> So it's as simple as that, and you're going to apply that to all the major scales. Now, of course, say F major, the root is the highest note you can play. B flat major, the B flat is the lowest note you can play. So let's take one more example. Let's say G major, that is one sharp, F sharp. So we're going to start on G, we go as high as we can within that scale, and that's an E, because we're not going to F sharp for the sake of this video. Then we go all the way down as low as you can, which is a B, and then back to G. So that's what this one sounds like. So that's it for this week folks. Just a very quick video about how you can improve practicing your scales. Now don't forget to practice your harmonic and melodic minors as well. And also, in future videos, we're going to be going much more in depth into patterns that you can use to practice your major scales, which is really going to bring on your technique and also help you with your improvising. So watch out for that at a later date. Please do subscribe to the channel, click the thumbs up button, click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos, check out the Instagram, and of course, all those scales I've written out for you down in the free PDF in the description. So go and grab that and join the Get Your Sacks Together family. So I'll see you next time. See you later.